Hello again, thanks for watching. My name is Joe. This is another quick tips video from Go Engineer. Today I want to look at a couple of the subtle, maybe uh, unnoticed changes for 2013. A couple of things are kind of behind the scenes, and then a couple may have just slipped your attention at your, uh, your local rollout. One of which is that, if you look in the open dialog, we can now see that CATIA v5 files are supported. So dot cat part and dot cat product now supported to be opened right inside of SOLIDWORKS. Uh, another one right above that, if you haven't noticed these little buttons, I encourage you to play around with them a bit. Uh, the probably uh, most important one for me has become this top level assembly button. So if I'm browsing through a very long list of files and I know I'm looking for that top level assembly, uh, these are just quick selection filters, so one of which is top level assembly, show only those. Um, you can also show only parts or assemblies uh, or maybe turn both of those off. They act as toggles uh, and can be used in conjunction. So you can see now I'm showing only drawings. So that's a nice little enhancement. Another one, I'll go ahead and shut down SOLIDWORKS here and fire it right back up again. Quickly, if we look, you can notice there's a cancel button here. So for whatever reason, you've accidentally started SOLIDWORKS or maybe it's hung, it's taking a long time, you can go ahead and hit cancel there. Uh, I'll shut it down one more time to draw some attention to this little uh, indication of what, what progress uh, what progress we're having with the load, initializing .NET, uh, loading VBA, starting SOLIDWORKS. So we'll see a little bit of an indication there. Um, another thing you might notice, the first time you fire up SOLIDWORKS for the day, you might notice in 2013 it seems to be loading quite a bit quicker. This is due to SOLIDWORKS 2013 fast start. So, basically, behind the scenes, some of the DLLs, some of the resources are loading up when you turn your computer on. Uh, so, if you're starting SOLIDWORKS for the first time, uh, since you've turned off or rebooted your computer, you may notice it's a little bit quicker. Now, some users are going to find that this is not something they'd like to have on. Maybe booting up your computer is priority in terms of performance. So. Uh, if you've noticed, maybe after installing 2013, that it's starting up a little slower, uh, that could be uh, a potential reason for delay. So it's nice to know how to turn that off. If you go to All Programs on your SOLIDWORKS client under Startup, you'll notice a new little icon, SOLIDWORKS 2013 Fast Start. Okay, If you go ahead and just right-click on that and say Delete, that will actually disable the SOLIDWORKS Fast Start. So, a couple of uh, maybe subtle changes for 2013. I hope you've enjoyed it. Feel free to leave us a comment. Let us know if there's any videos you'd like to see in the future. And again, thanks for watching.